Why is it so important that along with your Windows logs, you get ADFS logs is uh, paramount in these days now that the Golden SAML attack have seen a resurgence due to the SolarWinds hack, which gave the bad guys access to Active Directory. And with that, then uh, any access that is federated uh, to that Active Directory can be overtaken. So, and let's actually go into Windows to make sure that we can actually set Windows up to get those logs. The first thing that we need to do is to go on their server manager in here and this is kind of uh, not difficult to figure out. We go on their tools, ADFS management and in here edit federation servers properties on the, the events, the logs that you want to get on that tab, you need to make sure that all these boxes are checked. You click apply, OK, and you are good with step number one. The second step is not that easy to figure out. So you need to go under administrative tools and here you need to go to local security policy. This one right here. And in it, you double click on it, you need to expand the last advanced audit policy, expand the first item D, and here on their object access, okay, you need to, you will have by default everything not configured, but you need to actually, as I did already, go here on the audit application generator, ch check this box, check these two boxes, make sure you click apply. OK, and you are good to go. You, I don't think you need to restart uh, ADFS uh, for that, but in case that you do, that is actually not hard. You run, uh, you invoke PowerShell. Let me run it as an admin. You get the UAC there. And then you restart server. Look ahead, didn't help me here. Restart service and then is ADFS SRV. When you do that, the ADFS server service will be restarted. Okay. Now to test this out. Uh, let's actually put Curator. Let's make sure I want to clear everything here and get. No, actually, meant to put this in real time to get these uh, logs streaming. Let's go into here. Let me open a browser and go and authenticate. I want to do a single sign on into a site. I'm going to sign in into, and here you will have a pull down of sites. This is I'm authenticating to. Uh, Active Directory to have it create a SAML assertion to be sent to the site. And I only have AWS configure here. Uh, you can have Office 365 and read people's email. And, and that's how the bad guys actually did that. So, so I'm authenticated here as Matt at demo.local, which you know Matt doesn't have to have an account in AWS. Uh, but it's in a, a Active Directory, so ADFS makes it, gives it a, a, a token that will enable it to log in there. Let me put the password. And when I do that, boom, I get login into AWS. Now, let's actually go into Curator and see what we got with that. And as we can see, we get fresh credential validation success, application token. These are the things that will happen. Notice that Matt here uh, was logged in. These are the things that will happen when you enable ADFS logs. Short video on that topic.